Okay, so I want to explain how I'm going to go from using a long bed in my 2007 board freestyle to using a shorter bed so that I can make more room for uh, carrying things back home or even room for passengers if need be. Anyway, it's pretty easy to do. But first of all, I'd like to show you a little bit about the layout of my vehicle. So the seats from the back look like this. We've got six seats. <clears throat> and the back seats fold down like so. And the middle seats fold down like so. And you can see that they're not flat and even, which doesn't make good for uh, making a bed in your car. It took me a while before I realized that the back seats will flip over and be completely flat like this. And there's a little bit of room underneath too. So you can store some things under there if you like. Things that you wouldn't need to get to very easily. So when I started out this trip, I had the full length bed. It measures 25 by 75. It is a tri-fold mattress. One of the things I wanted to change about this was that I like the mattress to be able to be folded up on either end and the tri-fold mattresses they go, one goes underneath and one goes over. So I wanted to change that. I took, so I took my tri-fold mattress and I made it go from this to this. I cut off one section. I sewed the edges up along both of the cut cushions, sewed the raw edges up so that they would be all neat and tucked away. I may someday go and get some special material and make a nice little square pillowcase, but I just took two pillowcases that I had, separated them, cut them, and sewed them together in a square. This left me with my double fold mattress it is now 25 by 50, and I wanted to use it so both ends could fold up, so I have the bottom facing up. Next, I'll show you how I can put a twin size sheet on this. And you start by taking the short end of the sheet, the part that would be at the head of the bed, and you place the mattress, whichever side you want to be up when you're done, should be down when you're starting. Now you're going to flip the mattress over and over once again and secure the edges around the corners. And now you have your double fold 25 by 50 mattress with the extra 25 inch square. Next, I took my bed out to the car and in the beginning I had it going from the very back of the car up to the driver's seat, as you can see, but that last cushion up there was able to be removed. So at times when I was traveling, if I wanted to move that cushion to the back so that I could put the seat up for something, I had that option. So this is how the back of my car looked. You can see that the left side is taken up with a mattress and several pillows to kind of shore it up because the car is lower back there. Now I wanted to make use of this room in the back and be able to put other things back there. And that's why I wanted to, to shorten my bed. Now I have put the back seats in an upright position and moved that third section of the mattress to the back. Now, as we come forward, we see that I have this little indentation here now where my butt would sink into the bottom of the floor if I didn't do something about that. So what I did was to take one of my extra pillows and I rolled it up 
into thirds, kind of, and stuck it in this space and it came right up to where I needed it to, to, to be. Now you could put just about anything in here. You could keep a laundry bag or something like that in here if you wanted, but I just decided to go with this pillow. So now I have the two <coughs> remaining parts here, two remaining parts of my mattress. And I fold it over. There. What I do here to extend the length a little bit and give me another 12 inches or so is to just put some things on top of my water cooler and I put a folded towel on the top and that gives me the extra length that I need and it's been working out just fine. So as my last step, I need to fill in this little space between the two passenger seats. I have a small picnic basket where I have my first aid kit inside. I also have a few plastic containers on top of it that I can get to real quickly, things that I mostly use in the morning. And it brings it up to the right area and it's been working just fine. So now I have my short bed put together and it has that back seat up and so I can store things behind it and I still have plenty of room to stretch out and I really enjoy this setup and this is a no build setup. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you and happy traveling.